we know that there's always a hunger and a thirst for more, more speed, more power, no matter what you're doing. So at Cable Bahamas, we're always trying to stay ahead of the demands of our customers. You know, we're moving from our lowest speed, which is almost double what anybody else can offer in the country, to our highest speed, which is almost 800% faster than what our fastest speed used to be. That is phenomenal. As with most projects that we do, the pilot would be New Providence. Once we can prove that it works here, then we would extend to the other islands. I think everyone will benefit from these types of speeds, these mind-blowing speeds that we're offering. To get ready for the new speeds, you know, it's something that is always a part of the network evolution. Uh, we've been preparing for it for about two years now. So it starts from um, researching the technologies, getting the staff trained and familiar with what's going to be happening and actually rolling it out. So we start off with Rev on Charge. Rev on Charge was 3 megabits per second. It is now moving from 3 to 15 megabits per second. That's a 500% increase. We're moving Rev on Boost from 6 megabits to 30 megabits per second and we're moving Rev on Velocity get this, from 9 megabits to 50 megabits per second. That's more than 500% increase in speed. But on the top of it, here's the kicker. We are going to be adding Revon Extreme. Revon Extreme is bringing internet services, broadband services, 70 megabits per second. Now, that's what we talk about revolutionary speed, revolutionary network, Cable Bahamas is bringing to the consumers what North Americans had and we're actually surpassing it in some instances. I really wasn't prepared to be um, rolling out 70 megabits uh, per second to customers, um, but uh, we took it up as a challenge and we were able to get achieve those speeds in the lab and in the real environment. So I'm excited to see it uh, actually come to fruition. The reason why these broadband speeds are so important to the Bahamas and where it places us in the world is because everyone uses them. Everyone needs them, more importantly. You have grocery stores, retail stores, bankers, tourism, my goodness, you take a look at the tourist industry. The, when people come here to this country, they expect to have broadband. I've been to so many different countries where you go into the hotels and you go into these different areas and the broadband is just nowhere near what we have here in the Bahamas. We're now talking about taking this to a completely different level. I think for me the easiest analogy is uh, a person having a bicycle and then they're moving on to a, a motorcycle. And so the speed difference is going to be absolutely phenomenal and once you use it and you begin to experience just how fast the network really is, then you would be, why didn't they provide this before? We've been working behind the scenes and we want it and uh, it's all about timing and making sure that it's done right before we actually provide it to our customers. There was a recent study that I saw, a global study that said for every time you double broadband speeds in the country, you add 0.3% to the GDP of that country. Now that may sound like a little bit, but we're talking about 500% increase. The speeds are phenomenal. If you're going to download any movie, if you're going to Skype, if you're doing any video streaming, you will see it almost instantly. Things happen literally in the seconds. It's not the minutes or the waiting or leaving the PC and coming back. This happens in literal seconds. You would notice it almost instantaneously. And for me, I loved every minute of it. Of course, everybody wants to know, what is, how much more is this going to cost me as a consumer? You're talking about multiplying your speeds by five. For God's sake, man, we can't take any more, right? Well, it's not going to cost you anything. We are not increasing our prices. We have not increased, increased our prices from 2007. We're not increasing our prices today. Our prices remain the same, but we're just delivering greater capacity, greater service to our customers. The trends that we see happening around the world, you know, internet is a new animal to um, a lot of countries. Well, I say new, relatively speaking. But as soon as you put it out there, um, we'll find a way to use it up. So we have actually entered into our next phase of uh, upgrades now to be ready for when 
Um, 70 megs is just not enough. We offer from our lowest level of service almost twice the speed of what you would get from the highest level of service of any of our competitors. But when we start taking a look at our business customers, which started at one megabit per second, they're now moving to 10 megabits per second, a 1,000% increase. So when we start talking about the impact on GDP for a business customer that all of a sudden is getting more than a 1,000% speed increase, you're talking about some tremendous impact. We also have fiber that goes to business customers. Imagine the things that you could do. Imagine the capacity that could go into your business, depending on the type of business that you have. So this is a very exciting time for Cable Bahamas. It's a very exciting time for the country and our place in the world. Other than the reliability of the network, the other ISP, I think at most, at best, would probably be eight megs. And that's the best case scenario. We are going anywhere from about 15 megs to our high-end customer about 70 megs. Can you imagine 70 megs? That's, that's almost unconscionable. And just to be able to offer that to our public, to be able to offer that to Bahamians at large, I think is, is just amazing. And it's typical of Cable Bahamas. This is what we want to do. A lot of times we are faced with challenges where we want to give the customers the best and I think the thing that concerns us most is that we do it in the time that we're saying we're going to do it. We shot for spring and here we are at spring and we're right on time. You think about it, when we first introduced the internet in 2000, when we first introduced broadband I should say in 2000, we had, most people had a computer connected directly to their cable modem. So that paradigm has shifted completely to now we have wireless routers, which means that everybody can, can connect without having a network set up throughout the home, which is very important. A recent study has uh, shown that uh, consumers' bandwidth needs increase um, by 50% every year. Uh, we've built a network to be able to support that. So we anticipate within the next 12 months that Whatever you're using now, you'd be using 50% more, and we, we're ready for it. I have friends who have two-year-old kids that are now using the internet. So the stage in which people are using the internet, when they get introduced to it, is becoming earlier and earlier. Therefore, that is spreading out throughout the entire multifamily of users. Not only do I have an IP-based phone, but there are three different laptops in the house. And at any point, all three of us are on the computer at the same time. And yes, we are all using a lot of bandwidth. Yes, you would have your router in place. Yes, you can be on the phone. Yes, you can be downloading video. Yes, you can be Skyping. Yes, you can be listening to a playlist. And you would not see the difference one bit. Um, I have a nine-year-old and a five-year-old. And um, whenever I get home with my iPad and my iPhone, they grab it and they run with it. And they basically have it until I'm ready, to, until they, I tuck them away in bed. But that same thing, I think, applies across the board to all families. Uh, when you talk about educational-wise, business-wise, this particular service will provide that avenue, or that continued avenue, but now with a faster and a more um, powerful means. So I think the power, not think, but I'm 100% certain that it just opens up so many doors now for um, our customers. In my home, I come home and my son, he's on the iPad as well as he's on his uh, DS3 while he's playing a game with his friend who is somewhere else around the world and they're playing on that device. I have my laptop and I have my iPad on the side where I'm doing something else. Everyone is doing more than one thing typically in the household. Uh, my wife would be on her computer, which is, again, all using that same network. For many years now, the word and the, the talk has been about the information highway. But in terms of if you're not able to be able to get on that highway and to maintain those speeds, you very quickly fall by the wayside. But if you can maintain those speeds and it gives you the, that urge to stay on, because there's just so much information now that is easily at your access, and as I said, whether it's for your business or whether it's for education, uh, it just provides, or even entertainment. 
in terms of looking for something as simple as a recipe to cook with or whatever. But it provides that level of comfort, knowing that, hey, I'm connected, I am on, and I have a reliable service, and the speeds are just phenomenal. One of the things that we pride ourselves on is we promised our public, we promised the Bahamians that we would always provide them with the best technology. And it's on that promise alone that when we purchase things to provide for our community, we've given ourselves a little bit of room. So rather than just shooting for A and B, we go all the way to Z. We make sure that it's the high end, we make sure that it's the best. And it's not just the best for today, it's the best for tomorrow and the day after. There are a myriad of things that make Cable Bahamas work as a company. And when you look at it from the technical side, one of the things is that we have this facility which is called a head end. And the head end is the, the heart or the brain of the network. And that's where everything starts from and emanates from. And from there, all of the signals that we have, whether it's the, uh, the levels for the, the video or the internet, it travels from that head end and goes to our customers wherever they are in uh, the Bahamas. We built a network that was always capable of growing. We started off with television services, we moved to uh, broadband services, premium services, and we continue to grow on top of that with voice services. So this was a network that was built to move. We're talking about an investment of over $350 million in a network over the past 18 years. This is something fantastic. It's a wonderful new platform. And like everything else, with every other bit of technology, you open the eyes of people. You allow them to experience things that they would not have been able to experience before. The Cable Bahamas network from its inception was built as a highly scalable and um, redundant network. The one thing that makes that work, or the, the very important ingredient that makes that whole thing work, are the people. And the people and the team that we have here at Cable Bahamas, and not just the technical side that we have, but throughout all areas of the company, are a tremendous group of people. The staff are very responsive, and they work around the clock so that our customers can enjoy our products and services continuously. I have every confidence in Cable Bahamas. One of the things that I pride myself on is that we have the best network infrastructure in the entire region. And on that premise alone, I had every absolute confidence that this would work. On our network infrastructure alone, you have that feeling that you know that we can do it. High fiber density is related to bandwidth increases. So as we increase the bandwidth, we need to use more fibers. Um, because Cable Bahamas has such a high fiber density, we were, we were able to increase our capacity, or increase the bandwidth available to uh, our customers much uh, more easily than um, anyone else would be able to. We have what you call a NOC, it's NOC, which basically stands for Network Operating Center. Now, this particular center, what it does for us, it's our eyes and ears of our network. It is constantly monitoring the health of our network. And we have a team that is based in this particular center around the clock every day, 365 days of the year. And they're basically looking at the performance of our network, whether it's our Revon product or whether it's the video services, the entire health so that we can respond in the event that there's an issue. So as our customers begin to use the bandwidth and use our services, they can actually look and see how the demands are decreasing in one area and how then we can reshape our network to ensure that we can provide the best possible performance to our customers at any time. We have a network that connects by fiber Nassau, Abaco, Grand Bahama and Eleuthera and then that fiber goes all the way back to Florida which gives us a unique opportunity and a unique ability to provide capacity in terms of the fiber richness that we have in our network. 
couple of that, we have the, a very robust and a very reliable network. When we purchase the best type of equipment, we make sure that our equipment can handle the capacity. So if we shoot for a capacity of 100, we make sure that our capacity can handle 1,000. So we know, we know how we go. We know how our people use things. And yes, everyone's going to want to jump on board because they're going to be able to do fantastic things. And we want them to do that. We want them to experience that. And at Cable here, we, we foresaw that. So we made sure that we had the best equipment in place to allow for that type of activity to happen. And this is something we've always prided ourselves on. And the results continue to demonstrate that. When we look at our month to month and we look at the performance of our network and we compare those results to our counterparts in the US or in Canada or Europe, we can see and our results continue to demonstrate that they're on par with the best of the best. When we look at Cable Bahamas and the history of where cable came and how we migrated from um, just a video provider to now a, a broadband um, service provider, is just absolutely amazing. When we compare ourselves to the other OSPs uh, internationally, what we have achieved in the short space of time that we've been here, many of the operators would love to be able to sit and tell the same story. So for me, it gives me great pride to be able to be a part of such an exciting team and an exciting company. We have some of the best technical minds in the world here in the Bahamas. And I'm proud to say a lot of them here at Cable Bahamas. You would see that not just in our infrastructure, but in the services that we offer. I'm really excited about what's going to happen. Um, I think 70 megabits of internet bandwidth is a lot of bandwidth. I believe that as soon as we put it out there, subscribers are going to find a way to use it and I only see it as helping our productivity for um, home users as well as uh, our commercial customers. If you're not a Revon customer today, what I would say is this. Why, why, why come to Cable the Bahamas? Why choose Revon? One word, reliability. We have a sustained service. When we offer you the service, we offer you reliability. Reliability in the product and reliability in the team that supports this product. We have a better network. We have a better proven network of reliability. It operates 24-7, 365 with support. Anytime you pick up the phone, there's someone there on the other end that can walk you through any issue that you might have. We are so proud of the network, what the engineers have been able to do with this network to be able to deliver this level of service, which is going to take the Bahamas into a completely different level of where we are placed in the world for broadband access. I tell you, that's something that is just mind-blowing to me and is a quantum leap for us and we're very happy to be able to deliver this to our customers.